here it is the center console now painted in arctic silver today i'm going to be doing a modification to my 986 boxster s i am going to be repainting the center console here so my center console is a bit scratched up in places and the sin better days to say the least so a factory option for these cars from the factory was to have the center console painted uh, the same exterior color of the car so what I'm going to be doing today is painting my center console here in arctic silver so I'm going to go through all the steps I take to repaint my center console if you'd like to just skip to the end result and see what it looks like you will be able to skip to the end of the video I'll put in some chapters for you but if you want to stick around watch the whole process uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the center console and then the process of repainting it too so some of the tools you're going to need for this job to remove the center console you just need a screwdriver with a t20 and a t25 attachment if not two screwdrivers uh, if you don't have one of these magnetic tip ones like me and a couple of trim removal tools is always useful if it's uh, difficult to remove the gear knob but normally you can just get under there with your fingers and pop it out fine so first thing to do is to remove the gear knob making sure it's in neutral and then just i just pull on the sides like this pull on both sides until it pops there we go and pull the gator out of the way and then you just give it a big tug up like so make sure you don't smack yourself in the face with the gear knob and then you can see one of the screws at the front here which i'll point out next we want to remove the ashtray so just pop that up out of the way we're going to need this top uh, to paint later so we'll just put that to one side for now that will reveal to the 225 screws which you need to remove after removing the t25 the little plastic screws you're able to pull this whole thing out of here like so and then you've got the connectors you've got a connector here for your um little light inside the um the ashtray which you can just just a little thing you can pull out and then the switches as well uh, normally I would just remove the connectors off the back but because I'm going to be repainting this whole thing I'm just going to pop the switches completely out of the plastic covering so doing this you just put a lot of pressure on them and just pop them out there you go I've just pushed them out and they just pop out like that still connected to the connectors and then for these blank ones you can just pop these out as well something i'd quickly like to mention actually so if you've got blank in um buttons like i have if you don't have heated seats in your car they can be a bit of a pain to just try and push out so what i did was i actually got like the trim removal tool like this down the sides pressed the plastic away from them and then pushed on them from the, the back and then they just popped out otherwise they were a bit of a nightmare to get out so that made it a lot easier for me now you've got that center piece out of the way it reveals another t20 screw down here and then what we do is we go into the glove box remove any rubbish that's in there and then we need to take out this rubber mat now this can be a bit of a pain in the ass so go and get a trim removal tool and just pop it out like so which reveals another t20 screw down there and also you've got this little coin holder here which if you just pull on it, it should pop out and then you've got another t20 screw there so you've got one here to remove one in here one here and then the one at the front as well now there is one more you have to undo which is underneath this plastic cover which is just there but you can't do that until you've removed this screw and taken out the plastic cover which i'll do now so i've just removed this screw if we just grab this plastic cover and pop it out of the way and then we've got a screw there to do as well so once we undo this screw this screw this screw and this one all the screws will be undone for the center console all the screws have now been removed from the center console there are a few steps you need to take before you start pulling it out first thing you need to do is you need to pop the handbrake cover over here this just clips onto the side so if you just give this a tug it should just pop off nicely like that this is uh also needs painting as well so we'll put that to one side and then the one the thing you want to do is you want to push the handbrake into the highest position you can get it make sure you remove the wires get them out of the way for the switches like so and then you want to pull up on the thing 
and then you want to pull out so you've got it kind of in this position and then until it's just about clearing the handbrake and then make sure you've got your chair also as far back as it will go like I've just done now and then you just want to push up and then pull towards you to clear the handbrake and then you can just pull it straight up like so and there's the center console removed now there are a few bits on the center console we're going to want to remove so we're going to want to remove the level uh, the lever trim here we're going to want to remove these plastic trims here as well and then we also want to remove the um the lock and the top of this as well so i'll go inside and do that now so next step is once you've got the center console removed and out it's just to start pulling the the trim pieces off so the lever trim at the front is just hold on by clips get a trim removal tool underneath and you should be able to just pop these off easy enough like so that's just one lever piece removed and then do the same for the other side take that out and then we've got these plastic pieces at the back okay which pull off easy enough and then pull this one off as well there we go that's all the plastic trim removed now we want to get onto the locking mechanism so at the bottom underneath here you could probably see there are three torque screws so there's one here one down here and one just over here so let's just undo all of them and then the locking mechanism should come out for the little drawer at the top okay i've just removed the three torque screws for the the locking mechanism so what i'm going to do is open the drawer so that's out of the way and then flip over and then that mechanism just comes out nice and easy like that now the last thing i think we need to do is to remove the top so I think we're going to need a smaller Torx to remove this plastic cover over here to then disconnect it from the rest. So let me just go and find out the right Torx and I'll let you know which one it is. I've just realised that to remove the top of the, um, the centre glove box, I don't think it was necessary to remove all the screws in this and take the backing off, as I think you can just get access to the two Phillips head screws holding it on without doing that. So. I'd recommend just not bothering removing these screws and just leaving it uh, together as one piece when removing it. So these screws here at the back just look like normal flat head screws, one there and one there. And then once, hopefully you can see them, once we've removed them, then we should have the lid taken off. So the last thing I'm going to do before this is ready for painting is remove all these metal clips which hold on all the pieces of plastic, the gear gator and everything, as I don't want to get paint on any of those. And then it'll be ready to sand down and get ready for painting. I'm not going to bore you with the process of watching me sand all these pieces down, but I'd only recommend doing the sanding part and the painting of this yourself if you've got some experience in doing this kind of stuff before. If not, it might be worth um, getting a professional to do this for you to get the best results. I personally have no experience in doing this, but my dad has done this before, so I'm leaving all the sanding and the painting for him to do, and hopefully it turns out pretty good. My centre console has been sanded down completely and has had a few coats of primer put on it now as well, so all it needs now is a quick sand down tomorrow, and then it is ready to be painted in Arctic Silver. the center console and all the different pieces have now been completed in arctic silver and has had a clear coat put on as well 
Now, I wouldn't recommend doing the process I did. It was a very rough and ragged process uh, I used to paint this and will probably not um, yield the best results, but I think it still looks pretty good. The paint job's not too bad. Obviously, it's not perfect um, because of the circumstances in which I painted this, or my dad painted it, sorry. But it's a pretty good finish and I think it will look really, really cool on the car. So the next step now is to just get everything put back on the center console and put back in the car once the paint has dried properly. The center console goes back together the exact same way as you take it apart. So this is just a simple process of reversing everything you did in the first place to get all the pieces off. Uh, starting with the metal clips and then clipping all the plastic and leather pieces onto the side of the center console. Here is my centre console, finished in Arctic Silver, looking really, really cool. Now the hard part is to get it back in without scratching any of the paintwork. So exactly the same way as you put it in, you go in at an angle and then push in till you can clear the handbrake. Try and push it, try and get your chair bolsters like out of the way and push it onto them. Is, there we go and then all we need to do is clear this bolster and then we're in now something important to make sure you get back in is this little brown wire here which basically connects into this little switch here I know where it is now so because I've done this so many times but you might want to get into the passenger seat to be able to see the locking mechanism it basically just sets off the horn when you leave your glove box unlocked uh probably not the end of the world if you don't plug it back in but i'm going to plug it back in anyway if i can find the hole for it right just managed to get that uh wire in there so now we just want to move these cables out of the way here and then we also want to pull through this cable this for the um the ashtray light and then we just want to push it down Make sure it's clipped in at the front. Brilliant, I think rule in. There we go, that's just clicked in properly now. And now the only thing to do now is to reverse steps to screw this all down. So I'll come back to you when it's completely finished and all screwed in. Here is the finished results. The centre console has now been painted, Arctic silver and fitted back into the car. Uh, I'm really, really loving the look of this. I think with the Metropole blue leather I have on my car and the silver, I think it contrasts each other really, really nice. But I'll be interested to hear what you guys think about this modification. Do you like it in the Arctic silver or do you think it looked better when it was just black? I personally prefer this loads to the black especially because it had like this black tacky paint on it and it scratched so easily so i'm glad to get that off and get some nice some nice paint on the center console if you're planning on doing this modification yourself please let me know i'll be interested to know how it turns out for you guys too for me it's turned out really good um there are a few slight imperfections in the paint but nothing too too serious really it looks really really cool if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And if you want to catch one of my other videos, I'd recommend watching this video on why I think the 986 Boxster is a bargain sports car. Alright, bye for now.